This is a brand new Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flames. And today we're going to be opening a full booster box in hopes to pull that Charizard. Will we get one? Let's find out. So yes, we have the third instalment of the Scarlet and Violet era. And here it is, Obsidian Flames. And it feels like an eternity since we've opened a booster box on the channel. I think the last one we opened was actually Scarlet and Violet Base. Um, we skipped Paldea Revolve, weren't too fussed about that, but... We have got one today for the third set, so I'm pretty excited to get into this. Um, I know a lot of people have been kind of playing it down, saying, oh, it's the new Darkness of Blaze, we've been a lot of Charizards, but I've seen quite a lot of artworks in this set, and I'm quite a fan, so happy to be opening this up today, and you can see features the Tyranitar, as well as the Charizard on the front, so... This is a throwback to, I think, Call of Legends, where they did the type change. So you'll see the Tyranitar is electric type, and the Charizard is a dark type, as well as many other Pokemon in this set, which hopefully we'll see today. Um, but we've got 36 chances to pull some absolute fire today. Hopefully, we'll get the decent hits for you all to witness. We'll pop that out, and it's a bit different this booster box this time because, as you can see here, we can tuck it down here. And actually, I thought that might fall out, but there we go. See the little crown that it wears on top of its head. And a lot of people aren't fans, but let's have a look at the full pack artworks on here. So, there's four pack artworks, so I like to get all four sealed in, in sleeve blisters. But here we have the lineup so we've got the Charizard. The Dragonite, the Tyranitar, and the engine of a Pokemon that nobody wants. I think it's Reverum. But, so these are the pack artworks that feature on Obsidian Flame. So, this is going to be the first pack opening, the Tyranitar. Let me know in the comments section what you think. What's your favourite, or what's going to be your chase card for this set? Me, I think the, the Pidgey Evolution line is up there. Um, such beautiful artwork in my opinion so that's a, a definite chase of mine so if we can pull one of them today um, obviously probably one of the Charizards not the uh, not the alternative art but the one before that I think it's the ultra rare and we do get a hollow thunderous um, the gold Charizard for me mm, I'm not a fan I feel like there's a bit too much going off with it and it's just yeah it's I, I'm not a, a fan whatsoever but Nevertheless, um, if we get it, I'll take it. It is a Charizard at the end of the day. And it, this is a set I am going to try and master as well. I've said this from the start. And we do get a lovely clay doll hit there. And I actually quite like this artwork on this clay doll. So, lovely artwork on that. So, second pack in. Had, oh, sorry, two packs in. We've not really not had a hit yet. Just two ho hollers. But that is bog standard in Scarlet and Violet sets now. So, hence why the price has gone up. But I think there is something in here. Sometimes it throws you out with Scarlet and Violet because with the silver borders. But I suppose the uh, element of not knowing. That's a nice Clefairy. And we do get a Scovillian Holler. So, Charizard pack artwork. So, the last artwork of the four that we just pulled out. Let's see if there's going to be any... Zards in here. Let's quickly go through and there, I think there is some there might be I'm gonna quickly uh, slow roll this one because I'm whizzing through that pack there Larvesta, Shuckle and we do get his first EX and it's the Pormot EX Another thing with this set there is quite a lot of regular EX cards. Why? I'm not too sure but we do actually get his first hit out of the booster box so lovely hit there. So let's uh, Go from the right hand side with the Tyranitar. Let's see if we can uh, add to that today. Got the Larvesta. That's it with Fungus. Pidgey. King Gambit. Oink Loing. Eva. That's a nice Eva. Nine Tails and a Thunderous regular Holler. And there's a Coke off you all there. So we're still pulling from the right hand side of this booster box. Let's see which actually gets the better hits. I can't remember what side that other car we're at, but it's a hit, we'll take it. So Magnemite, Eva, Pokemon League Headquarters, Lunatone, 
Passerina, Toad School, Swablu, and a Hollow Token. So we're, we're not doing very good so far on the hits. I hope this is not going to be a dud box. I really do. I hope we actually get something pretty decent today. I have seen quite a lot of people, um, bigger PokeTubers, actually pulling the Charizard quite regular. Um, to say it's, you know, it's a special illustration rare, you think it might be a bit harder to pull, but I've seen a lot of people get it, so I was quite surprised by that. But it's also a small set, I believe. Um, I think obviously 260 cards, but then obviously you've got your reverse hollers, so whatever that'll be, just over 300 potentially. Um, but it's a uh, oh, and we do get his first. Illustration rare, the the room, the small engine, or a lot of people say a vacuum, certain people like that, that is. And we do get a holler toxicity. So it's first illustration rare of the uh, of the opening, and we do get the the Pokemon, which I don't understand why they actually uh, did that as a design. Who would fought an engine for a Pokemon, but it's up here, it, up, up here, up there with the uh, the stone journey or the pile of stones as I like to call it but it's another hit and that is from the right hand side still so we're still pulling from the right Tadbulb, Blossom, Lunatone, Surskit, Salazzle and we do get a holler into it, I do actually quite like that so it's pretty sick so I feel like we're going a bit slow with hits hopefully uh, it'll turn up a bit because I've been absolutely buzzing to get hold of this set I mean, I know once 151 uh, got announced, this set kind of seemed to get skipped a little bit. Um, a lot of people are more excited for that, which I don't know why Pokemon do it to themselves sometimes. We do get a Holo Gee to train a card. Um, yeah, they literally just announced it, and then they announced a the Pokemon 151, which were quite baffling. And today on release day of this, uh, they've also announced a brand new set. Uh, I can't remember the name, Paradox Summit, uh, that's due to be released in November, so already we've got another set to look forward to before we can even enjoy this one, and even before that we've got Pokemon 151, the first holiday set of the year, so a lot of people have been more excited for that, just because it again features the original 151, and to be fair these are some quite nice cards for that set. So we'll be open quite a few products on channel for that as well. But today is Obsidian Flames Day. The release day of it. And so far it's proving very difficult to actually pull anything. And we do get another EX card. So the Absolute EX. And I quite like that. It's it's, uh, it's got quite a nice texture to it. I think it's quite different to the format. But as you can see there in lighting. It's got like stars in the holler. So... Uh, a quite a nice EX today. I actually quite like this one. I've, I've seen a few of the EXs and this is probably one of my favourites. I do believe the Charizard one, the regular EX, the dark type, is, I'm sure it's fetching about £20 at minute uh, for some strange reason. Whether that's just because obviously people were selling it before it were actually out, I don't know. But, uh, I'm trying to do Patrick there. But yeah, twenty pound for regular EX. I, I feel like that could drop down in price as well as some of the other cards. Um, it doesn't seem to me like it's going to be a set that's going to be quite sought after. Um, I think it will be more more than um, Paldea Revolve, but I, I don't know. I, I just feel like some of the prices of the cards at the minute are quite high. So if you feel like you want to obviously buy some of these cards just just wait a little bit longer they are dropping down in price i know for instance uh that's a nice charmander uh i've got two cards to master on uh, brilliant stars and both being charizards the alternative art and the rainbow v star and i believe that alternative art has actually come down in price i think it was something like around 150 60 mark it's dropped back down to 120 pound so i'm hopefully a bit of cash trying to uh, master the set sooner rather than later before the price jumps back up so hopefully we can potentially do that in the upcoming months or weeks before it does jump but you never know 
we'll see what happens. Darmanitan, Combe, Finizian, and a Dark Rival. I like that. So these are still getting pulled from the right hand side, and so far it's mm, not proving very good. Hopefully, the left hand side of the box will uh, prove a bit better than this right hand side. Tadbull, Lachonk, love that artwork. Barbuch, Bugtrio, Kangaskhan, Whiskash, Krabola, Bonsley, and we do get another EX, the Vesper Queen EX. So, again, another EX pull, the third one of the day. That's what I'm saying, there's quite a lot of EXs in this set. So, we'll take it. I don't know if a lot of you have seen as well on the Pokemon Center UK, they've just announced uh, a new plushie. I think it's, is it is it the Wiglet, the White Diglet, or whatever it is? Um, if you've not seen it yet, uh, go and have a look because it's uh, quite questionable, it's design and I don't know how it actually <laughs> got sent out to be honest but we'll see. So probably one to actually purchase and keep holder because it might, I don't know, might prove valuable and if you don't know what I'm talking about please have a look. <laughs> but that's one informa bit of information for you to know. And we do have, I think, two packs left, or one pack after this, on the right hand side before we move on to the left. Hopefully we can finish on something big. On this side, Floatzel, Umbreon, I saw that it's the first Umbreon today, and that is, that's quite nice, that. I do believe this is coming out in a promo at GameStop when you spend $15 or more, and I think somewhere else in the US, so I'm probably hopeful that it's going to be coming to the UK, probably game, as game normally do something like that, you spend £15, you can get a promo card but on problem with game is they don't tend to have its logo there but GameStop do so it's one to keep an eye on especially if you're in the US watching this and I think there's something here and we do get his first ultra rare the Glimora EX and I'm not a fan of this Pokemon it's just like a flying flower um, I know when I was playing Scarlet and Violet it just it was so annoying when you're in uh, is it area zero I'm not too sure I've I played bits, but not that often. But nevertheless, it is his first ultra rare of the day. Hopefully, um, that's not the best hit. I hope there's something better in here. But we'll take it. It is a full art. It is going towards the master set, so we, we can't complain too much. Although we can complain there as we're knocking over his uh, his big pile that we're forming, and we do get a, a Togepi to hit this off. And I love this artwork on that. Some really nice artwork cards in this set. Wug Trio again. Kangaskhan. Rhyme. Lampant. And another Holler Ente. So that was the second to last pack. So this is the last pack on the right hand side. So hopefully when we go on to the left it will prove a bit better. Get some better hits. But let's see what we finish on here. Charcadet. Ponyard. Masquerade. Gumshoes. Pewterbot, Magnazone, that is a nice reverse holler. And we do get gold! We do get gold! The Artisan holler, uh, I said holler, gold card, and we do get the Gita holler. So that's because I was looking at the Gita then, but his first gold card, and I do believe this is probably his only secret rare that we'll get of the box, unfortunately, because I think you do get, you are guaranteed one secret rare per booster box, and it is the Artisan gold. Hyper Rare, as you can see, it's got three gold stars on, on the bottom corner. So at least we've got some gold today, at least. So pretty happy with that. So last pack magic on the right hand side finishes with gold. Let's move on to the left. Let's move this bulk out of the way. Okay, for some reason, my video camera wasn't working for the second half of this booster box opening. So I was pretty annoyed about that. But We'll have a little recap of what we actually pulled. So in total, we actually got four EX cards. So first one is this Vesper Queen, followed up with the Absol EX, as well as the Pormat EX, which were the first one we got, and the Pidgeot EX. Moving into the Illustration Rare, we actually did pull a Palafin Illustration Rare, and it's such a beautiful artwork card. Followed by the Engine, the Varum Illustration Rare, and the next illustration rare, the one that we actually did want, we actually pulled the Pidgey illustration rare and what an absolute beauty of a card this is. I'm so annoyed it didn't film when we actually pulled it because I was 
buzzing that we actually got it. So moving into the full art, so the ultra rare card, the Glamora, or the flying flower, whatever you want to call it. So we actually pulled this as well. As well as this, the secret rare of the booster box, the artisan trainer card. So pretty annoyed that it didn't record, but it was what kind of one of them booster boxes like I probably could have done better, but I was so happy we got the Pidgey, so nevertheless, pretty happy with that. So, I, I, again, apologies for that, but let me know in the comment section which is your favourite pull that I got out today. Is it the PJ, is it the Gold card, or the, the Ultra Rare? Let me know. And uh, if, if you've enjoyed this video today, be sure, to, uh, be sure to smash that like button. Again, I can only apologise, it's not normally like this, a little technical difficulty, but I'm glad I managed to share the pulls. Uh, feel free to check out any of these videos that's popping up in your screen right now. That's going to do it, and I'll see you on the next one. See you there.